HIV has been with us since the 80s. In the 1986, Ghana identified the first case of HIV. And since then, we have about 350,000 people living with HIV in Ghana as at the end of December 2022. This is a project on HIV self-testing. It is a project that is being sponsored by the Global Fund and the government of Ghana through the Ghana Health Service and National AIDS Control Program. We secured approval from Ghana Health Service in April 2020. And then EPIC moved to form the multi-agency committee. That's the PrEP and HIV self-testing committee which is chaired by National AIDS Control Program and co-chaired by Ghana AIDS Commission. And the committee accelerated the key components of uh, the implementation plan for HIV self-testing. And so we were able to commence HIV self-testing in March 2021. To achieve these targets, we need to focus on the first 95. As a country, as at the end of December 2022, we were at 72% against the 95 targets. SC24 is an um, online sexual and reproductive health service. Um, we are currently here in Ghana trying to support the Ghana Health Service, the National AIDS Control Program, and the Ghana West Africa Program to combat AIDS and STI to develop an innovative online HIV self-test service. How our service works, um, you just visit any of our, um, either our websites or um, any of our, our platforms and then you can get access to the chatbot where you make the order. Once you make the order, we process it and then we partner with the courier to bring this, uh, your, kit, your kit to you at any location of your convenience. You do the test yourself at, in the private location, whether in your room or anywhere, and then you report your result back to us. It is very important that you report your result back to us so that we are able to complete the process with you. Irrespective of the, any results that come out, whether reactive or non-reactive, we have a very um, solid professional um, who are behind the scenes who would help you to um, go through this pathway and provide you with all the necessary support. We've worked with, uh, with various ministries. We've worked with uh, so many countries uh, within West Africa. Um, our test kits have been used as a confirmatory test uh, for Ghana for so many years. And it's been proven to be very authentic and uh, very potent and very accurate as well. This is something that uh, you can do in your, own, uh, uh, in your own house, in your own comfort zone, you know, uh, confidentiality is assured. There's no one uh, looking at you, and also the ease of the the, uh, the ease of use of the of the product. You know, there's no pricking. You just swab, and within 20 minutes, you know, you follow the instructions, and within 20 minutes, you should see your uh, the result. Garnet is the main implementing partner of the National AIDS Control Program. So Garnet is working with 50 other NGOs. We are an umbrella network. We don't implement projects by ourselves at the national level. We actually work with our NGOs at the community level. So we have 50 of such NGOs that are currently working across all the 16 um, regions in the country. experience and um, some are willing to take the kits some are also ignorant about it some are actually very reluctant to take it at all so um, people who are open to take the kits accept it and they are happy that we come around to give them the kit and some who are also willing for us to test for them 
also do it. Frankly speaking, the HIV self-test kit has come to help because in the communities, we are working in the hard to reach communities that in normal circumstances, they will not have taken it upon themselves to know their uh, status. But visiting them in their homes and assuring them that it's an HIV self-test kit, that they take it and they know their status by themselves has really helped. My major challenge is people not wanting to talk about anything HIV. They think once you start talking about it, or even once you get tested, um, it's going to make you have it. People think when, when you test, you are going to have HIV. And I try to tell them that it's better to know your status than not knowing. But they also think that not knowing is better than knowing your status. We can testify with evidence about the demand for the oral quick HIV self-test kits. And as I'm speaking right now, there are demand coming here and there that they want the kits. So we are even planning on the next consignment to have everybody to be reached. Committee members, they are overwhelmed and happy on this project. And they are all enthusiastic to come on board. Now people are shining from stigma. The project so far now has shown that this of stigmatization is coming down. Everybody is willing to show, to know their status. One of the most important um, interventions that the country has been able to uh, provide for the citizenry is the availability of HIV self-testing. This is because HIV self-testing is a way to empower the individual to know his or her status in the comfort of his or her room. So you can have an HIV test and while the test is running just for the 20 minutes, you can then grab your bottle of soft drink or your glass of beer and you wait for the test result. If it is reactive, then you go to the uh, health facility. I must say that I am very happy that we are at this level where the HIV self-test uh, kit is available for use. This is because the Care Continuum Project, which is supported by PEFA through USAID, that I happen to be the chief of party of, we conducted the feasibility and the acceptability study that led the Ghana AIDS Commission and the Ghana Health Service to adopt HIV self-tests as a policy. We started distribution in February 2023, and within that first quarter, we distributed 40,000 kits. In the second quarter, we have distributed 30,000 additional kits. So in total, we have distributed some 70,000 kits. This project is primarily targeted at um, what we call AGYW, that's adolescents, young girls, uh, and women, and also men who are at risk of getting HIV um, infection. Immediately we started uh, the implementation of HIV self-testing. We used the NACP um, trained us in the DSD approach. We developed the DSD model, and so HIV self-testing, we were using the DSD options for key populations. It was COVID time, key populations didn't want to even come to the facility. First, cost, second, distance, thirdly, fear of stigma at the facility. And so we used the peer-mediated assisted approach. And that really, that's why we trained them and that really helped. So they go to the communities, they distribute the test kits and they follow up to ensure users of the test kits. And some were even returning their test, used test kits and also sharing their results. So as a counselor in the office on this HIV self-test project, we, we actually um, do follow-ups on our clients that had received the HIV self-test kit. Uh, it's being negative or positive. Like I said, we are not the best people that discloses their status. So what we do is we have to just counsel them, talk to them. Um, if it's negative, we still tell them or probably tell them what they should do 
so for them to, to still stick to be negative what we do is we make sure they, they, they wear condoms consistently and correctly and then if probably they have multiple partners we advise they reduce the multiple partners and then stick to one and then if it's positive we make sure um, they are being linked to care we make sure they are being linked to care or treatment and then on daily basis we call them we make sure we call them on phone check on how they're doing and if they're adhering to their treatment or their medications on the projects the challenges that we have identified is one most of the clients are on denial stage they don't believe they contracted the virus like they are on denial stage two they also think that it's kind of spiritual thing that make them to be infected with the virus we need to encourage people to test because there is a global commitment to end AIDS by 2030. Ghana as a country, we have signed up to that commitment. And the only way we can achieve that commitment is to make sure that we test our people so that those who test positive will be able to put them on treatment. And when we put them on treatment, they should be able to achieve viral load suppression so that they will not be able to transfer the virus to other persons. We've forgotten a whole lot about HIV, which has been a deadly disease for us for a long time until we had this coronavirus, and people have forgotten about it. For now, I've got this HIV self-test kit with me. It's a kit that was brought up for us to self-test our our own immune system if we've got HIV. You can use it anywhere you are, in your bedroom, in your kitchen, in the bathroom, wherever you are, for you to know the status of your health, especially the young and the older people. HIV is real and you need to have your own self-test. So. I endorse this HIV self-test kit to all Ghanaians. Shanene, eji o manye sani, ni na neke test kit ne, e hani mi e shen he wadenche. E ja ke neke he la ne ngba mana, shi ke kolibu e ya ke testi mo, e fe me ahunto, ke me hingbe le, e ja ke bwane ba ya ne ba ana moko, ni mo ba ana lepe, e fe no konklo, no wo bia ne, me nshegbe ye he wo a testi. No wo, shanene, and then, honey, in me a shen he wa, fig be fig me. Ye test kit in any nane, he jacobano toshiani o checky. Nimoko ena ke o ye he leco. E wa, ne call my yes, and ne, e won na denti. In me a shen he wa, can ye fain a cany name? Me in dagana manchin. I can a cany name, eba, benia fe. Nimoni ye he la neco, a cag big blame, yaka jaya to lie. A cag big blame, yaka jamoko banali. Fe banya tashiani test, I'm a test of pregnancy. And to uh, first of all, acknowledge the work and the leadership of the Ministry of Health, led by the Minister for Health and the Director General of the Ghana Health Service, who have worked as principal recipients to the Global Fund to ensure that the needed resources for initiatives like this are ensured. As I pay tribute to the Global Fund for their support, I cannot overlook the work of the joint team on UN on AIDS in the UN, that is the WHO, the UN AIDS, and other um, organizations within the UN system. Our partners, the Ghana AIDS Commission, continue to play their role, coordination role, and also the civil society organizations who have worked very hard to ensure that we are here, sensitizing and engaging different stakeholders across the country. Um, the feedback so far has been very positive, and I encourage all Ghanaians to embrace this initiative to help all of us 
to achieve our objectives of ending this epidemic in the shortest possible time.